there's one change of personnel to Black Rock starting 15. David Fortune comes in at open side. Rafe Tyrrell switches to the blind side with Gary Fenn moving to the second row to partner David O'Connor, who was one of the try scorers against Kilkenny. Black Rock are captained by scrum half Charlie Rock. Peter Quirk, his cousin, is at out half. Gary Ringrose in the centre is the Black Rock place kicker and has been in brilliant form in earlier rounds. Zach O'Hagan and Jack Power were the also try scorers in the last round. Ross Gray also make just a single change to the side that started in the quarter-final and it is at the crucial out-half position. Kieran Gaffney was the second-half replacement for Tim Foley and Tala and it is Gaffney who starts today. The Ross Gray pack was at the heart of the victory over Terran Ewer and contributed the two tries through Jacob Walsh and Rory Maloney. They were a powerful in attack and they're dogged in defence in that game with captain Sean O'Brien showing great leadership at number eight. Well, I often think it is even more nerve-wracking for the players on the benches. Never quite sure if and when they'll be called upon. Black Rock have added Evan Holland and Sean Kearns. Ross Gray have brought in Alan Tynan. Gavin throws. Went a little bit too far. That makes it a bit awkward. Ross Gray have the possession. But it means they have to regroup. Midfield! Blue! Now the ball has come back on the Ross Gray side. Gaffney had to stretch for that one. Nicely popped up pass. A little bit of space almost opens up for Tim Carl. Advantage again for Ross Gray. You have a knock-on advantage. Black in the tackle. It's a knock-on advantage. They'll get a scrum if they don't get something more. Lavelle. Gaffney tries a little chip over the top. Has the height advantage. Gaffney has it. Gaffney's going to score. What a brilliant piece of skill by the Ross Gray outside half. Almost single-handedly scores the try. He changed his line of attack. Well, I hope we see that over and over again. Still showing the war wounds from the bang earlier in the game. Here it is. He changed the direction first and backed himself. Watched the ball all the way. He had the height advantage over the scrum half, Charlie Rock. And he had the presence of mind. He even looked to see who was outside and backed himself to get over the line. Long preparation. Steps up to kick now. The preparation was worth it. The two points are added. Keep it up, use it. That's up, it's up. Rock gets the ball out to Quirk, gives it to Ringrose. It's coming in an interesting line, but well marshaled by Dwayne Corcoran. A little pick and drive from David Fortune. He's been a good addition to this Black Rock side. Ross Gray have strayed offside. Penalty coming for Black Rock. And that's if they don't do something more. Coughlin. Run straight into four Ross Gray tacklers. Rock has a little look at his options. Goes to Rafe Tyrrell. No and the ball not coming out of there. No advantage accrues to Black Rock. And I think the kicking tee will be sent on for Ringrose. Here comes the kick from Ringrose. Is it curling back inside? The upright it is indeed. But I thought it was just flirting with that right hand post for a minute, but it's through the uprights. Tell you the confidence with which with which he kicked there. He knew that was going over. He was running back before any of his teammates. Black Rock's counter rucking attempts, not managing to steal the ball. Big tackle crushing away. tackle. Jaeger for Black Rock with the tackle. Oh, the referee saying the ball was out and it's gone backwards. I think the scrum half is claiming he was held here. We might see it again in a moment. Well, now Ross Gray have it, but that little delay has cut out the attack. Can they set something up here? Corcoran stepping back inside a tackle. Look this foul play here. Shrill blast to the whistle. Ross Gray players down. Was there a late tackle? Could be a card here, John, as well. If he did, if he took him out off play, Captain, looked like he did. The hand is going in the pocket. The onus is on this player. When he takes him off the feet, he brings him to ground safely. On that occasion, he did not do that. It was reckless. It's a red card. Tip tackle, red card. Three minutes into the second half. Here it is again. Just watch Maloney in the shirt. Picked up. I feel sorry for Cochrane because he, he's, he's had a fantastic game and he's been great in all rounds throughout this competition. Well, a 
that's something that the Rugby IRB and everyone in rugby is really trying to stamp out. Nick DeLuca received the 13 week ban for a tip tackle. And here comes the mole from Ross Gray. They're advancing towards the line. Lavelle sending Jacob Walsh back in on oh, Ross Gray. Go. Can they get over the line and touch it down? Black Rock under all sorts of pressure. They've gone round the far side. Aino Dad awards the try. Brilliant, brilliant work from the line out by Ross Gray. And they put the extra man advantage straight to work. Coughlin on the wing. Probably wouldn't be have been involved in the mall, but it was well orchestrated, well worked, great try. I tell you, it's, it's almost like putting rub and salt in the wounds. You know what? Yeah, we have space out wide, but we go straight through you. Fantastically worked. Look at Lavelle marshalling it. That it's so encouraging to see that from a scrum half. Look at that. Get back in there. Telling his players, pump your legs, tell them where the space is, and it's this pivotal move here. Gives the space and gives the referee well placed and well worked try. Black Rock have made a change in the pack. Jack Dwan is in in place of Rafe Tyrrell. And all the bodies drop to the ground and it's there. Lavelle out to Gaffney. Gaffney kicks it over the head of Jack Power. I'm surprised they haven't tried this tactic. Black Rock missing one of their back three. Holding blue! Hold! Power decides to kick back and keep it in play. Higgins takes the short pass. Try the handoff. Oh, Hagen did well to hold on. Corker in his tackle just outside the 22. Maloney sees a little bit of space. Brushes away. Maloney's got a score for Ross Gray. Brilliant individual try from Maloney. He shouted at Lavelle for the ball and he raced away. I tell you, John, I saw it and I was wondering would Lavelle see it. And I actually, because I was looking at Lavelle, I missed Maloney. That is intelligent play from a seven. Very, very good. The blind side was left ba abandoned, and, don't, and no surprises. That's where the red card is. That man was missing from here. We'll see it again. Look at Higgins. Gets the offload away into that man. Corcoran has it on fast detail. Look at the blind side. And he spotted a big handoff, pumps the legs. Try time. Set. Penalty count has been growing at scrum time. They seem to be drifting inwards again, but the ball is back. Quirk throws the ball long, beautiful pass, onto it comes Jack Power, Jack Power is through, can he make it all the way? No, Wharton gets back to make the tackle, Rock is up, just needs to pop the ball up, backs himself to go, can he touch it down? Half a metre short of the line, great response from Black Rock, but you feel they have to get across the line and score. Sean O'Brien with the tackle, driving his, the ball carrier back, the ball squirts out. Penalty advantage coming here for Black Rock if they don't get the try. Ringrose steps back into the tacklers. You have the advantage line. Use oh, it. Black Rock will know they need more than three points. They need to get the try. Find back. Get back. Ross Gray have their defensive line. Black Rock a little advantage. bit narrow. This is Timoney. Black, let it come. Timoney is held. Now can they move it a bit further? Little chance. Dwan is through for the try. Jack Dwan touches down. Is there some hope for Black Rock? What a try, and that came from an unbelievable pass in the centre of the pitch, picking out the man. And that man was Jack Power, scything through the defence, creating all the havoc. And Dwan, we saw him, impact sub, sub extraordinaire, coming off the bench with a huge carry. And this, the most important carry of the season for him. Timoney carried first. Then we see the pass here coming from Rock into Dwan. Straight through there. And we have a huge game on our hands. And this, it wasn't over anyway, but now we certainly are in for a great finale. Well, the conversion to come from Ringrose will bring the margin back to just two points. And Ringrose slots it through the posts. The ever-reliable Gary Ringrose. We're into the final ten minutes of the game. Four points between and a try will do for Blackrock. Black, hands away. Seven, work back. Dwan, scorer of the last try for Blackrock, held up short of the line. Referee roaring at Ross Gray to let the ball come. Rock goes short, little bit of space. Dive for the line, Blackrock, get the try. The clock 
says 71 minutes, there's time for a little bit more. How have Blackrock managed to battle back into this one? Jane Fitzpatrick with the try. We thought they were dead and buried when they trailed 20 points to nine. A down to 14 men, but they have a single point lead and a conversion to come. Look at this carry from Timoney, getting out into space, sucking in all the defenders. That was the key moment. Then this pass, look at this. Duan again, looking for his second. Does enough to bring O'Brien and everybody else into that. And then there was space out here, and they spread wide. And that le look at that little step and the reach. Fantastic work. And you know what? If Blackrock win this, they deserve every moment of it because they showed unbelievable character to come back. And he lets the ball back. Now there's plenty of room if Ross Gray go right. The ball has to go out of play. Or for the or an infringement before the full-time whistle will go. Infringement penalty to Ross Gray. No time for the line out. Got to release it. It's three points in it, is it? Yes. Do they ask for the kicker? Here's your mark. Big question. Ten meter line. This last play. Have to go for it. So when the ball goes dead, can I have one call, please, from you. We're going post. You want to go for the post? Sean O'Brien makes the call. Have the shot at the posts. Who's going to stand up? Dwayne Corcoran takes off the helmet. What pressure on the young man's shoulders. Just looking around the crowd here. There's hearts popping out of people's mouths all over the place. What a finale and what a game. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Well, there's pressure on Corcoran here. What they have to do... What Ross Gray have to do here is follow up. They need the chasers just in case it comes back off the post. It's a long way out. If this goes over, it's 23 all. We have a replay. Sends the kick on its way. He's got under it a little bit. He had the direction. Didn't have the distance. Ringrose hoops the ball over the dead ball line. The referee blows the full-time whistle. Somehow, Blackrock have battled back to win this. What a brilliant game of rugby, Aiden. Unbelievable stuff, John. Unbelievable scenes here. What it means to these guys. And Ross Cray, I feel good for them. But Blackrock showed a character that you haven't seen it in such a long time because they haven't been tested to that level. And they've shown so much heart to pull it together with 14 men and come back from a deficit of nine points. Brilliant stuff. With me is the Black Rock College coach, Peter Smith. Peter, hard to get your breath back after that. Some game of rugby. Yeah, I think maybe that'll go down as one of the best schools games ever for drama and stuff. But, um, you know, if that kick had gone over the end, 23 all might have been a fair result. But we got the nod today and we're just delighted with it. Yeah, you stuck right at it. Red card could have influenced the game. A lot of teams would have fallen away and died, but you stuck at it. Yeah, no, the boys have stuck at it. They've stuck at it all year. And, you know, for Charlie and the rest of the guys, it's a great reward now. We've uh, another 15 days' time now. We've got to look forward to a final, which is a great reward for all the players in spot. Yeah, Charlie Rock, the captain, scrum half. You had a brilliant game yourself, but all 15 were superb. Thanks, yeah. I mean, like Peter said there, it's just, it's what all, it's what Leinster Skills Cup rugby is about. I mean, wet each end, like everything was swinging and uh, yeah, I guess we were just fortunate in the end to get the win, but I mean, that's great, like, it's, you can't ask for any more.